This is absolutely insane and Americans should be extremely, extremely concerned. If you've been following me, I shared with you guys what I think is breaking news, which isn't in the media, but we're looking up in the sky and looking down in the ocean. I'm worried about who's been cloned when America just got downgraded. America went from AAA to AA+. Supposedly the most dominant country in the world financially just got downgraded. And I'm going to show you what Janet Yellen, who's responsible and one of the leaders of our financial system, who's just reading off a piece of paper, and they're, con they're not concerned. They're shocked at this rating. After we watch this video, I'm going to give you the facts, figures, numbers, logic. And I'm going to show you what I think is happening. This is not financial advice. Don't make any financial moves. I'm not a financial advisor. But I'm going to show you the narrative I've been following for years now. So let's listen to this video. This is her response to us getting downgraded as a country. So let me give you some context. If you had an 800 credit score and you got downgraded to 600 credit score, what would your interest rate be if you walked into a dealership? And if you were at 120% debt to income ratio, would you be able to get a car? Nope. You'd be a bad debtor, you would have high interest rates, and you wouldn't be able to get a loan. Well, listen to what she says about the downgrading of America. This decision is puzzling in light of the economic strength we see in the United States. I strongly disagree with Fitch's decision and I believe it is entirely unwarranted. Its flawed assessment is based on outdated data and fails to reflect improvements across a range of indicators, including those related to governance that we've seen over the past two and a half years. Despite the gridlock, we've seen both parties come together to pass legislation to resolve the debt limit, as well as to make historic investments in our infrastructure and American competitiveness. Fiscal, prior, fiscal responsibility is a priority for President Biden and me. You're shocked that we've, we've gotten stronger in the past two years? Have a public, let's, let's think from a public level. Are you looking around? Do you see how expensive it is in America? Do you see how much gas is, how much milk is, how much meat is? And do you see how interest rates are destroying small businesses? And the middle class is getting wiped out, leveraged towards technology, working down to the working poor? Or is there a whole nother strategy going on here? Guys, we're moving to a digital currency, a central bank digital currency. Rosie Rio said you need a shock to the system to change consumer behaviors. America just got downgraded. So that means as they res the debt ceiling that we, won't, we go to borrow from other countries to pay for critical services, it cost us more money to borrow money to pay for critical services. So if America was a person, they're bankrupt. And she's shocked that we got downgraded? The person who controls our monetary system is supposed to be making financial decisions for the health of America is shocked that we got downgraded? We're at 120% debt to income ratio, 33% of our debt is held outside the United States. Look at the Warren Buffett indicator for the stock market. You printed trillions of dollars and you have banks that are on the verge of collapsing because you have a bank bailing committee that was created in 2012. You inverted the bond yield this year, which completely destroyed the liquidity in banks. And it's very expensive for banks to make money now, or excuse me, hard for banks to make money. They make money in interest income, fee income, and capital markets income. The capital market, stock market, and crypto market are come collapsing down on the back end of this year, which destroys their income. The fee income, when people can't pay their fees in their bank accounts and people aren't getting loans, the banks lose all their ability to make money. So this is a massive transition, guys. So let's pay attention to what's actually happening. So to give you context, this is Rosie Rios, Rosie Rios, the 43rd Treasurer of the United States, who said she was responsible for signing the last $100 bill, and she was told to reduce coin and cash usage in 2012, but she couldn't because the printing machine was turned on full blast. She said, you need a shock to the system to change consumer behaviors. We had a shock to the system in 2020, and this is her at the Global Summit, the Global Business Summit, talking about a central bank digital currency and the executive order. Last year, and the purpose of this executive order, excuse me, it was March of last year, the purpose of this executive order was uh, to encourage regulators to ensure sufficient oversight, encourage the Financial Stability Oversight Council to identify and mitigate financial risks, directs and coordinated action ag across agencies to mitigate illicit financing, promote safe and affordable financial services, and explore, yes, a U.S. central bank digital currency. Now, you may know that over 80% of, of developed countries right now are looking at a central bank digital currency. It will happen, and it will happen in the U.S., but it's absolutely going to take some time. 
So here's the executive order. If you'd like to pause and read that or go find it, I need you to pause and read this. This was in 2015 from the World Economic Forum, and there's something creepy right here. Listen to this. You open your wallet and you see a dime. The coin is physical. You pick it up and you hold it in your hand, and you're confident that it actually has the value of 10 cents. In a few years, this was in 2015, you will most likely be holding a small piece of plastic item shaped as a heart or a star. Or you might not even have a wallet and you only have access to virtual currency, which you don't know what it looks like. You have to be prepared for financial revolution in the next 10 to 15 years. Pause and read this paragraph, World Economic Forum 2015. This is the IMF in 2022, the future of money gearing up for central bank digital currencies. This is Wall Street Journal. Central bank digital currencies are coming whether the countries are ready or not. So if you want facts, figures, numbers, logic, here's the Federal Reserve website. If you take a look right here, number four, why is the Federal Reserve considering a CBDC now? Not if, not are they going to, why are they considering a CBDC now? You can pause and read that. So you can believe these presidential candidates are running the, the, against decentralization. I appreciate decentralization. I get it. It's sovereignty. But unfortunately, they don't make the decision whether we go into a CBDC. That's facts, guys. The bankers do. The biggest bankers in the world are the ones that make those decisions. So be careful waiting for a savior. If you look in the sky, the birds will precede you. If you look in the ocean, the fish will precede you. If you look inside, you'll realize that you're already the king. In the beginning is the end. And in the end, you'll find out it's the beginning. It's your responsibility to make decisions, to research, to get off scrolling aimlessly and start to look for things that will move your family forward. Your algorithm is showing you what you're paying attention to. These are very powerful tools. It can be used for darkness or used for light. And your job is to transmute that darkness into light. We all have darkness in us to include me. But when you face that darkness, you transmute it into light. You become one of those powerful human beings on earth. I love you guys. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go. I will never proactively DM you. Those are all scammers. Do not send anybody money pretending to be me. We have an education academy. We help people with our blueprint since 2020, over 7,000 people. It's education, LinkedIn bio. I also have an index universal life team. If you're concerned about your retirement or wanting to secure your wealth in insurance products, tax code 7702 and understand that, you can set up a free consultation with my team, LinkedIn bio. It's a free consultation with my insurance team. We're licensed insurance agents, okay? Do not send anybody money pretending to be me. I love you guys. I want to protect you. Spread the word.